safety. <laughs> Today's supposed to get up to about 90, I guess. And I love these mornings because when I come out on this little porch that's crammed full of plants that my wife and I are thrilled that God has provided because we started all our plants like little tiny sprouts and grown them slowly through the winter and in the summer they exploded into bigger and we just like to do it wherever we are we just don't really have a house and probably are going to have one ever again but where we are we usually grow some plants and enjoy them and sometimes pass them off to people or sometimes like we did a few years back use them in the ministry to a church that's getting started and, but the point being is that they grow and they develop and we prune them and they become something to enjoy and when i look at them i'm humbled by just the appreciation of how god provided for us how he allowed us to participate with him in seeing them grow and become a big blessing to me you know to my wife to this little hummingbird that comes every day usually or every couple days sometimes maybe but kind of nips in and you know gets a quick look you know and a little sniff here and there and tastes and see that what we've done with god is good you know and, and the hummingbird enjoys it and there's some days where the hummingbird doesn't come and i wonder lord was that me no <laughs> Maybe I'm having a bad day. <laughs> but the reality of God in my life at times like that, when I look at it with appreciation, then it causes me to be humble before him for what all he has done. Now, God can humble you or you can humble yourself. Now, God humbling you can sometimes be as obvious as sin in your life and being made open to other people and they see it and then you're humbled or God saying and setting you down from some position of authority in ministry to a more subservient role and that can be your downsetting as David said in the Psalms that's what downsetting means it means taking from the higher seat to the lower seat that's all in authority but when you're set down sometimes that is God humbling you or sometimes when you have like an incurable disease and it's suddenly obvious to other people and then you go ooh you know and your self-esteem gets all trashed you know and then you realize oh ah, ooh, and you're humbled but you know God really wanted a different way one of loving way a more personal way that you could be humble and it could be just a simple choice of will a determination to be appreciative of all God is as well as what he does and when you appreciate God you recognize yourself as being no good thing inside but you love the fact that God can and does operate like a father and then the warmth of his love just humbles you in an easy gentle way so the choice is yours today to either be humbled or humble yourself in the sight of the Lord because he sees you frankly in everything you do and if that thought if you take it to everything you do ought to humble you in some way <laughs> I hope so because there are things that he can see I think he'd rather not don't you think so humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and that choice may cause him to not just lift you up but to hug you closer which is in order to get close enough to hug God you would have to be lifted up think of it a different way and you might be blessed today in God calling a human temple Lord we love you we worship you bow low before me worship is not supplication though both express man's varying needs of me bow low and worship conscious not only of my humanity but of my divine majesty as you kneel in humble adoration I will tell you that when I took upon me your humanity it was with the desire of raising that humanity to my divinity I would lift you up earth gave me her best a human temple to enclose my divinity and I brought to her the possession of divine power divine love divine strength 
to be forever expressed in those of her children who accepted me, for I would be in them and they would be in me. Especially to those who opened their hearts to me and sought to live my life as I live in them. So kneeling in a spirit of humility, turn your eyes heavenward and realize the majesty, the power, the beauty that can be yours. Remember, there are no limits to my giving, but there may be to your accepting. Oh, rejoice at the wonders to which you are called, and seeing them in prayer, rise in my strength, filled with the longing to attain them. Jesus said, We have not because we ask not. Ask and you shall receive that your joy may be full. The fullness of a life is not the abundance of the possessions that it has, but the knowledge and the wisdom of walking and talking and having a relationship with Jesus himself. Because as you do, as the Holy Spirit fills you and you're able to have a personal intimacy with God himself, then you are abundant in the knowledge and the wisdom of God and God gives all good things to his children that are aware and knowledge and give to him their life to be lived out through this life as people around you will acknowledge the Lord is with them. He's got an anointing. He glows. She shows. They've got it. They're blessed. <laughs> so don't think that abundant life is just so I could get saved and I could run off and do it my way. No. No. The abundant life is to have peace, love, and joy in every circumstance or situation that you need not be tossed to and fro with every wind of doctrine or every circumstance that comes. We're not doing what Jesus said, as we know that the house that's built upon sand would come crashing down, but that your life could be built upon a rock as you do what Jesus says, as you live with him, as you acknowledge that today he's with you where you are, working in you, working through you, working on you, working to you, and giving with you an accomplishment feeling that God has a project in mind and you are his love object that he is choosing to make you into the image of his son and that you have a design and a plan that's being worked out for you as you become more like him day by day so in order to be like someone you got to kind of know them don't you and you know you can't see my chair over here but the Lord is there and he's watching me and he's making sure that you know I'm not messing that thing up <laughs> so if you want to get it right don't just walk in the light be the light because Jesus said you are the light of the world guess what today you could be Jesus to someone wouldn't that be something